Hey sailors, welcome to the crew. I'm Sea Lord Janda, and this is my let's play of Rule the Waves 3 as Great Britain. The Great War has just come to an end, as we have made a victorious peace with Germany and the USA, and we now have to deal with the inevitable post-war budget cuts, while also trying to build a new generation of dreadnoughts. And the day is ours. Apparently our allies get nothing, but uh... Actually, it just doesn't tell me. Did our allies take anything? Not that I can obviously see. Spain didn't lose anything either, though. They're still holding on to Cuba and such, so... Alright. That's a one war. Also, we're... Our budget is in shambles, but hold on. Uh, nope. Stop training, for one. For two, the Collingwoods, that is their last war. For sure. They were hopelessly obsolete even during it, really. They did great making up the numbers for the war with Germany, but they are getting scrapped. Goodbye. That is nine ships, nine capital ships off the roster in one go. We no longer have the largest, well actually by tonnage we still easily have the largest pre-dreadnought force in the world, but not by numbers. And that is all right. The Hannibals are going to go into reserve. Uh, this whole force that was off the North American East Coast. At least all the ones that aren't on foreign stations are going to recall to Northern Europe. Everything that's in the Caribbean that isn't foreign stations is going to be recalled to Northern Europe. Great. Still losing a lot of money, although that's with four battle cruisers building, so it could be worse. You guys into reserve. The illustrious class, also into reserve. London's Remilius can stay not in reserve for now. We could build much, we need a new destroyer class pretty shortly. Okay, well, let's see how the budget holds up over the next couple months. Yes, we need to do that. Oh, do we have better fire control than all of our ships currently have equipped? We have direct... yeah. That's going to be an immediate problem. Okay, so... At some point... We acquired director firing during the war. Pretty much none of our ships are fitted with it, except the second Vengeance, apparently. So we're going to need to refit anything we're keeping with director firing ASAP. So that's a huge upgrade. Ooh, we need six operational submarines. Okay. I never really use them, but yes, we should get six operational submarines. So let's, I guess, lay them down. Let's see here. Well, that's a much nicer battle cruiser the US is building now, the Yorktown class. Still not as good as mine, but much nicer. Sure. And we commission HMS Indomitable. 28,100 tons, largest ship in the fleet. 27 knots, 8 12 inch guns in a not quite optimal turret position layout, but close. Just the one isn't super firing. 12 5 inch, 10 3 inch, 11 inch belt, 2 and a half inch deck, and director. So let's resume the other Indomitable and then let's see what we can do about getting a director fitted onto our other ships as soon as possible. Russo-Austro-Hungarian alliance, huh? 
What do I want to fight next, anyway? I mean, not imminently. I would like some time at peace now, but, uh... Russia is still an option. We never really finished them off, finished them off, but... We don't actually have a very easy way to fight each other, either. We could fight Germany again, but it's not that exciting. Um... I don't know, I'm not going to prioritize anybody too hard just yet. We'll just see how it develops. Sure, let's foster some international understanding. Ooh, well, that's on you, Spain. Lost Cuba anyway, despite winning the war. Ooh. Uh, oh, whoa, okay, that regatta was very expensive. Extraordinarily expensive, holy cow! Guys, what, what the hell? We're just gonna have to accept bringing our funds into the red. Unless I wanted to throw ships into reserve on an emergency basis. Shut up, finance ministry. Wet heater engine. Finance ministry cannot complain that much. We are fine. We will be super green again this month. Let's just make sure we're in the black. And now... We need to rebuild these. Which pretty much just means, let's see here. Did I get these into turrets? Is that causing a problem? No, not effectively, no. Not even single turrets? Uh-uh. I mean, I kind of could, but not really. Is that really the best 5-inch guns we got? Apparently it is. They kind of suck. Best 12 we got as well. So in that case, all we're going to do is just add a director. Simple enough. Get that done. And then at least all our modern capital ships will have the director, which is the most critical thing. But where are you, D? I sh I, you should be home. You were damaged, I think. Get back to Northern Europe. Anybody stuck here still? Yes, flying fish. Back to Northern Europe. Fuses for HE shell damage. And in a month, those rebuilds will all be finished. Excellent. Germany and the USA have renewed their alliance. Apparently, they're not finished. Ladder shooting, accuracy improvement. Oh, and less rate of fire penalty for guns below 8 inches and turrets. Reliable power training and elevation. And that's alright. It's not that critical. So we're going to prioritize getting these battle cruisers finished. Those are all ready. I mean, we definitely need to keep on building dreadnoughts. We're not ahead at all. Not even remotely so in this race. That said, our destroyer force could definitely use an upgrade too. I guess it's our cruisers we're going to have to kind of neglect and just focus pretty hard on our capital ships and a few destroyers. Okay, more industrial production. Not selling that to the US. Stable explosive filler, more damage from penetrating hits. Good. Houston land. Well, not a bad battle cruiser. Not spectacular, but could be worse. Right, so destroyer wise. We 
We have a lot of 300 tonners still in service. We need to get some... Uh... Wait, what's the maximum size we can build right now? 900? Bigger? 1100. Although we've only just got double torpedo mounts, so... Whether we can make full use of an 1100 ton design, I'm not sure, but let's see. Okay, our best current destroyers, the anglers, are... 27 knots, 2 3 inch, 4 2 inch, and a total of 4 torpedo tubes, with 2 of them being on the sides. So a new destroyer, we'd probably want to do at least 30 knots. Oil fired, turbine, no armor. Don't bother with any of that. But we would want a significant primary and secondary armament. I don't think we can do twin turrets on destroyers. That is a no. We will want this. And then... Could we fit a third centerline mount? Crowded. That's a no, but we could get side mounts. Now it's just overweight. Also, technically our secondary turrets are problematic, but I'm going to ignore that. No, but if I put them in single turrets, that would work. And it doesn't even hurt rate of fire, really. So now the only problem is we're overweight, which is fine, because we have spare weight. Okay, this is a thousand ton design, not even an 1100 ton design. And it's all good, really. Two four inch, uh, four three inch, total of eight twin torpedo tubes, two center line and two port, uh, one each port and starboard. And it makes 30 knots, which is better than any existing destroyer, so fame class it is. Let's lay down about, I mean, I literally, I would like like 50 of them. That's probably not going to happen, but we really need to lay down at least 20 or 30. And then after that, we will go harder into more capital ships. Private shipbuilding. Regional war imminent in the Balkans, huh? Well, sell to anyone who wants to buy. Money, money, money. <laughs> okay. Let's lay down... Man, these are expensive. Well, actually, to be fair, ten of them are equivalent to one battle cruiser, so they're not that expensive. Let's lay down ten to start. And we're still making a slight monthly profit. That's fine. Let's just wait for the other... the next Indomitable to be finished, and then we'll lay down, like, another twenty. How bad are our worst current pre-dreadnoughts? You guys are the remainder of... No, you're new, actually. You're a new division. Okay, hold on. First battle cruiser division. Congratulations, folks. We finally have you in existence. Apparently, first battle division now has no ships, which, yeah, actually, it doesn't. That's fine. You are now first battle division. You are second battle division. Third battle division is vacant, but it can become the Remilius class. And you know what? Just leave it blank for the next dreadnought class we build, actually. Okay, everybody else has a division. Yes, yes. Great. Yep. Hmm, selling to a South American country? Fine. I'll risk it. Oil in the Falklands, so Argentina's gonna be really mad in this timeline, huh? Improved compressed air supply, more reliability. We have enough submarines that we're can move our tech forwards again.
comparable is worked up. Oh, slump in the economy. Well, um, maybe the charities could institute some sort of relief for the poor. Damn it, my budget. It wasn't that bad, actually. Okay, HMS Inflexible is commissioned. We're struggling with some other things. Let us lay down another 10 Fame Class Destroyers. And actually, honestly, make it, um... Well... I'd like to make it even more, but we can't really slack on Dreadnoughts for that long. It's already been like two years with none building, and we only have six, almost everybody else has more. So... We have to lay down a new class of Dreadnought Battleship, I think, yeah. Is everybody else getting into a second gen with bigger than 12 inch guns yet? Germans are not. The French, not as far as I can tell. The Russians, probably not. The Americans, maybe. That's a big increase. Japanese, also maybe. Italians, maybe. I don't know, the latest gen is like 25,000 tons, which is bigger. But then again, my vengeances are 27,000. Eh, they're not like that, so... Research-wise, do we have, um... Not that. Not that. Where's, um... Not that. We do have 15-inch guns, they're just kind of bad, but we could do 14-inch guns, and they're not bad at all. Where is... This? Yes, okay. And we still don't have the other superimposed turret. We do have five center line. Th oh no, we do have the other superimposed turret. Okay, we're good. And all or nothing armor now. And secondary guns and turrets for battleships. So let's take a look. Uh, hold on. The last class, the Vengeance has a 13 inch belt, 2.5 inch deck, 21 knots. 9 12-inch guns. We're going to go for 13-inch belt, 3-inch deck, all or nothing, yes. 21 knot speed is still fine for my money. Oh, the AI designer is going really ambitious with the, uh, okay, that's our best torpedo defense. With the five 14-inch turrets, that might actually be too much for my money. Or I would rather just do triples, in any case. Do I keep the submerged torpedo tubes? Probably not. Let's drop those. Tertiaries? I don't know if I should really bother. Yeah, let's drop turret R. And let's go for... triples instead. Ooh, too narrow. Oops, not that. What if I went for this? That's valid. Except for being overweight and rate of fire for secondaries is too... is reduced, but, um... See, that will go away. I know it will, eventually. I think I'm willing to accept it in the short term. So now we're talking... This is a 31,500 ton ship with 8 14 inch guns. No, with 10 14 inch guns. 21 knots. This is not a bad ship at all. A 31 6, because I like the extra backup fire control position. Or. If I settled for 8 14s. I could build it on 28,000 tons. 
Which is pretty significant, honestly. Especially as we really need some numbers. I think we will settle for this design. Because I think, well, okay, cost-wise, let's see, 3600 a month versus... Thirty nine hundred a month and an extra month. That adds up. I think for reasons of economy we will settle for the twenty eight thousand ton design. And it's still easily the best battleship probably in the world. It's honestly considerably better than the Vengeance, which weighs almost the same. Just 400 tons less? Oh, can't have that many guns. Hold on. Drop a couple of those. Now it's fine. Alright. Let's develop that design. And we're gonna need to build about six of those or something, honestly. Um... Sure. You know what? We're still allied to France. Well, yeah, you know what, no. I just hate selling tech. Okay, industrial production up. Flexible is worked up. Shall I comment on the Italians? They are, um... There's really no point. I don't care about Italy. Oh, we could build 16-inch guns. They kind of suck, but we could build them. So the last Indomitable is six months away. Honestly, our Battlecruiser fleet is still behind overall, even with the four of those finally finished. So we really need to lay down some tonnage here, yeah. We have the biggest budget. It's actually impressive to me how much more the AI builds. Um, I think it's because I don't put anywhere near as many ships in reserve as they do, to be honest. Let's put London's in reserve also. Yeah. All these are on foreign stations, which really means I need to build a lot more civils still as well. Because those are legacy ships. Like, we really need to replace our armored cruiser force too. The very newest ship in that force is almost 15 years old. But there is absolutely not the budget for it, currently. Still, maybe we put these in reserve. Of course, we've also got to decide, are we going to put directors on them? We should, if we're going to keep them. But we shouldn't keep our pre-dreadnoughts at all much longer. Problem is we still only have six dreadnoughts, so... It's a little hard-pressed to say we should just drop all our pre-dreadnoughts already. Oh, Parliament. Uh, let's go for, um, let's go for railroads. Prosperity, wow, we still lost money that turn. A lot of money, actually. So we can't afford the Rodney class yet. I mean, I could lay maybe one down or something, but yeah. Well, I'm going to scrap the three Hannibals, because they are... I think not ships that I designed, and they're not that great. Everything but the Remilius is in reserve. You're all on foreign station. Let's put the Drakes in reserve. Oh. Some of you are still in North America. You're not even on foreign stations, you're just in, in North America for some reason. Get back home. If 
barely have any nice light cruisers either. See, the numbers say that our cruiser force is really, really good, but me looking at it, I feel it's very bad. But I guess everybody else has almost totally given up on light cruisers for some reason or other, currently. Which feels weird, but they just have, yeah. There'll be a 1910 special, uh, well, before this episode is published, actually, so. Bit of a moot point. Okay, our alliance with France has expired. Gyro stabilizer, reduced gunnery penalty from sea state. Alright. One turn, and we'll finish the first batch of fames. Yes. Alliance with Italy, huh? Um, well, we don't have any allies now, so sure, let's accept it. Approved airship tail sign for airship performance. Hopefully they don't just drag, drag us into a war with Austria or something. Italy, how are your relationships? They're allied with Spain, and they're, well, there's almost no tension in the world right now. Which is fair, because World War I just ended, like, a year or two ago. But, yeah. Thanks for watching, sailors. Hope you enjoyed. New parts will be up every other day, or you can watch live on Twitch. If you did enjoy, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Have a nice day, sailors. This is Sea Lord Genda, signing off.